Hey guys, it's December 1st and I thought it'd be a wonderful day to do an EDC update. Let's go ahead and get the boring stuff out of the way. We got the duct tape wallet. Just pretty simple, handmade. A Casio watch. I forgot what model it is, but it's a good watch. Uh -oh. Refuge wristband. Uh, I'm still rocking the old school Razor. It's a pretty good phone. It's not as good as what my brother's filming with right now, but uh, it works good for me. It's nice and thin. Keys. And uh, it's not a new car, but I got a Toyota Echo. So that's getting a lot better gas mileage than my uh, my 1995 Z71. Let's see. Okay, now the cool stuff. This is a Chloris XT11 flashlight. This is my go-to tactical product if I'm uh, kind of worried about somebody or if I need to see something in my vehicle. Uh, man, this is like you know a really good way you can disorient somebody. Uh, 600 lumens. You got strobe. It's extremely bright. Uh, takes two CR123 batteries. And it actually has about the same runtime as. Uh, can you get out your 4.7s really quick? Uh, this is 360 lumens and this is 600 lumens. Of course, this is bigger, but uh, it has. Both of these flashlights have about the same runtime. So uh, there you go. That's a good flashlight, by the way, but this is just, uh, technology's really moving fast, and I thought I would keep up with it, so I got this uh, X-T11, really good flashlight. Uh, got my shoes. I have a Cold Steel Super Edge. Uh, it's a really good workhorse. Uh, the serrations are not my favorite, but if you need to cut up something nasty, or, uh, you know, maybe you don't want to use your real nice knife or something, uh, this... Super Edge is a great working knife. And then as a neck knife for today, I have my Bastinelli Creations. Uh, I believe it's called the Persian. Super cool knife, super sharp, just beautiful. A parachute cord wrapped handle. And uh, it's pretty big, but it carries around the uh, neck very well. Awesome Kydex sheath, very well made. adjustable lanyard and uh, it doesn't imprint at all with this shirt so cool knife and then for my last knife for today uh, you saw this yesterday when I did the tip test it's my uh, Macusta or Mcusta it's super beautiful super functional it's a liner lock and uh, hopefully I can put this thing to some real use. I was texting one of my buddies, and uh, I said, I'm, I'm just going to try to use this just like any other knife. I mean, I might as well use it and get all the enjoyment that I can out of it. So uh, it's a very cool Damascus. Well, actually, I'll explain in a review later, but it's really not true Damascus because it's more like a Semi-3 blade. I'm not sure if you can see right there. But uh, it has a VG10 core, and basically it's VG10 with two uh, sam with two layers of Damascus uh, welded to the sides. So uh, really cool knife, really sharp. And I'd like to end the video with a demonstration. Uh, this is a really good way to see if your knife is sharp. You just fold the piece of paper like this, and this is just regular printing paper, and most people would say, well, you know, printing paper is really easy to cut. I'll demonstrate that really quick. You know, yeah, it's really easy to cut like that. But what we're gonna do with this piece of paper that we folded up is we're gonna set it up like this. And all it's holding up is the paper is the paper itself. Uh, I'm not reinforcing the paper at all. And you got to have a really sharp knife. And hopefully the wind won't blow that badly. And there you go. If your knife is extremely sharp, 
it will cut cleanly. And if not, uh, it'll kind of stop. Uh, yeah, it'll stop. And also, uh, not only does the bevel have to be sharp, but you also have to have a thin and even grind or it won't really work. I mean, you can have a knife that will shave, but uh, let's just say, for example, maybe like a chisel ground knife. Uh, if you have it set up, and this is even harder, this probably won't make it through because there's less support and the wind's not even gonna stay up. But if you have a chisel grind knife, uh, it might go off to the side like that and it might not cut that well. But uh, hopefully, uh, you know, you can try this cut test for yourself and see if your knife is really sharp. And uh, I hope you enjoy the EDC video, and I'm out.